Ibrahim. I am from Mexico. I am Dr. Cabrera, and it's a very pleasure to stay here. Amigos que están de, eh, de este país y que hablan español, mucho gusto, soy de México. Y hoy, el día de hoy vamos a hablar el uso de PF Kip eh, en el uso de rehabilitación oral en implantes. Eh, muchísimas gracias a, al FDI. Thank you so much for FDI organization. This is a very interesting material. So, uh, in our treatments, always we have to take into account uh, easy, simple and efficient treatment. En nuestro tratamiento siempre tenemos que tener tres cosas en común. Eh, que sea fácil, que sea simple y que sea eficiente. Sin duda, para poder tener este tipo de materiales, nosotros podemos ir cambiando nuestra, met nuestra metodología. Our uh, mentality is now changing. This is the common uh, and typical bar in, uh, for implants in metal uh, that is very heavy and of course the biocompatibility is not very good. Entonces, esta, esta biocompatibilidad no es lo mejor que estamos buscando en implantes. Siempre hay que tratar de ofrecer a nuestros pacientes mejores cosas. Always we have to offer to our patients better things. So we have a different uh, material. For example, in this um, uh, slide, we have a zirconia bar, but it's very heavy. The, the biocompatibility is very nice, but the heavy is, 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 is very, is, is, is something crazy. So we have to change our mentality, uh, and of course we have uh, some alternatives. This is another kind of bar. Este es otro tipo de barra. Es la, eh, una barra eh, soldada, la cual eh, también la podemos tener en tipo hader. This is a um, soldering bar. Uh, it's a typical name, it's Hader uh, or Dodler. Uh, we have uh, some alternatives specific for this. Um, this is a uh, lightweight, but uh, it's metal. So we have to offer a different thing, uh, and we have uh, other options. So uh, think about in the health of patients. Pensemos en la salud de los pacientes. Tratemos de cambiar este significado de nuestra rehabilitación oral. Y bueno, lo que nosotros podemos ofrecer es una alternativa, la cual es muy ligera de peso. We have a very lightweight material, um, just one, 30, um, for, uh, one grams for each uh, centimeter. And, and we have an, a very good uh, ultra resin uh, short that is uh, 85. Tenemos un short de 85, lo cual nos indica que el material no va a envejecer y no va a tener eh, desgaste. Uh, this short is very important because the material on the surface won't be wear, so uh, it's very effective. Um, and we have, and in our treatments, we have a um, very good uh, option. It's in a video. This material now is using in intervertebral spaces, of course, in calota, eh, eh, in bone. Este material hoy día es usado en espacios intervertebrales y también para recubrir calota y también colocar algunos eh, cojines eh, a, a nivel de la rodilla. And uh, this material, the uh, chemical name is polyether ether ketone. It's complete biocompatible, eh, biocompatible and this is the material. The material is a polyether ether ketone. You have a benzene group, um, ether and ketone group, and this material is um, uh, in pellets. So it's injected, it's very simple to use, and the water absorption at 24 hours is 0.5%. Este, mati este material se llama polyether ether ketona, tiene un grado de absorción acuosa del 0.5%, lo cual nos ayuda mucho para estar dentro del humano y sobre todo cuando rehabilitamos cuestiones de implantes. Has a low thermic uh, conduction. Uh, you don't have any galvanic uh, conduction uh, thermic transmission. El material tiene muy baja conducción térmica, por lo cual no vas a tener ninguna corriente galvánica. It has a very strong uh, MPA uh, Jones models. 3,500, so it's, it's very nice to work with. Es un material que tiene 3,500 megapascales, por lo cual tú puedes trabajar muy bien con el material. And has a flexural strength, 125 MPA. Tiene 125 megapascales, lo cual te permite tener una flexión cuando tú aplicas fuerza, hasta que tú aplicas 125 mega, megapascales, tú puedes eh, empezar a vencer el material.
how is worth this material? You have to inject in a in a in a in a, in a press. This press, uh, the dental technician put inside the material that he needs. For example, an implant or an abutment or an abar, and he inject the material and then polish and apply ceramic or apply ceramic. It's a very nice material. Look this example. Always when we get our implants inside the bone, cuando nosotros tenemos nuestros implantes dentro del hueso, we have to take care about the cortical and this material, PF keep, uh, the behavior of the the behavior of the uh, PF keep is similar than the strength and the flexural of the bone. That's very important. Eh, eh, el comportamiento que tiene el PF keep es muy similar al comportamiento que tiene el hueso. Uh, uh, this is an a uh, six bar. Um, this is an uh, all on all on six bar. So uh, first, this is the uh, this is the clinical case. Uh, this is the patient, 52 years old, uh, male patient, six implants, uh, and we rehabilitate. Tenemos un paciente de 52 años, el cual rehabilitamos con una barra de seis implantes. This is a fixation of the bar, preliminary fixation. This is una una um, fijación preliminar. And this is the abutment that you could before to to place and inject the bar. This is a predicting dentature success. This is a predictive. This is the, the, the angles of the implants. Estas son las inclinaciones de los implantes y también de los aditamentos. Y como te puedes dar cuenta, es una predicción de la, de, de, del éxito que vamos a tener en la dentadura. This is a VT, a VT objective, a visual treatment objective. So look, this is the bar. Do you remember when I start to, uh, to explain? We present metal, we present zirconium. Uh, this is PF keep bar. Look, just 7.3 grams is is light. It's very lightweight. So you can choose for your treatment. El peso de esta barra es de 7.3 gramos, lo que significa que supera al zirconio y al metal. This is the end of the Toronto implant bridge in PF keep and lithium YCR, lithium disilicate mixed with uh, pink uh, ceromer. Inside is the PF keep. De silicato de litio, cerómero rosado, y dentro tenemos la barra en PF Keep. And the weight is 14.2 uh, grams. 14.2 gramos una barra para implantes. The uh, aspect aesthetic in the uh, front part of the Toronto Implant Bridge. This is very nice to see. Uh, this is the uh, uh, palatal view. You have the chimneys, the chimneys of your. Of, of your um, implants and the screw. Tiene las chimeneas de los para los implantes y para la conexión de los tornillos. And the component is the implant, the PF keep and the lithium desilicate. And look, this is our patient in the beginning of the treatment and this is the result. This is an, a mixed implant bar made in PF keep polyether ether ketone ceromer and lithium desilicate. So, in conclusion, the use of polyether ether ketone material, in this case, PF Keep, will provide certain benefits such as sooner adaptability, passivity, and biocompatibility in the implant rehabilitation. In conclusion, the use of PF Keep in, in, in implants, in barras para implantes, nos van a traer como consecuencia adaptabilidad facilidad y biocompatibilidad en rehabilitaciones implantos soportadas. Thank you so much for everybody who is uh, follow me in the uh, in the Facebook. Thank you so much for your likes. Gracias a toda la gente que me está viendo. Gracias a la gente que está aquí presente, muy amable. Y nos vemos en la próxima y nos vemos en México. Thank you so much and see you in Mexico. Thank you so much.